Hey guys, it's Steve with MG Cleaners again. Um, Y'all been asking for a few more videos, so we've started putting some more together. We're going to get some more in the works for you guys uh, to answer some, some questions from simple things. Uh, it's a little bit more complex. Um, but today, we're going to work on one pretty easy. Uh, we've got a bunch of questions about a soap injector um, or, or just chemical delivery in general. Um, so today we're going to focus on our, our chemical injector and how it works. <clears throat> um, so I've got this set up here. And, and there's a few things when, when you're using a low pressure chemical injector, which a lot of people call a downstream injector, same thing, you'll run into a few little problems with it um, and you can check them and, and fix it relatively easy. Um, but first, let's make sure you got the setup right. If you're buying it, you wanna look and make sure there's gonna be a number printed on the side. You wanna make sure that number matches up to your machine because these are rated um, for gallons per minute. Typically, if your pump won't put out more than about a gallon and a half, it's not big enough to do low pressure soap. Um, so check your number, make sure it's rated for the same as your pump. 1.8 will run two gallons to three and a half gallons a minute. 2.1 runs 2.7 to four, and 2.3 runs three and a half to six gallons a minute. So typically, more industrial guys, you're gonna see the 2.3. Um, if you got a unit you're using at home, you're gonna see the 1.8. The other thing you wanna check, you wanna make sure your, your filter's not clogged before you start. Um, and make sure that it's good and clear. There's two last things to check before we get started. First of all, this has a set of arrows on it. This is a one direction valve. So you wanna make sure you're headed in the right direction. And you wanna make sure that this black part is turned open. Some different models are they're steel or they're, um, they're, they're aluminum or something like that, but there's still, there's always gonna be an open and close here, um, just as a redundancy. This machine here on low pressure side comes with one tip. Uh, these are your high pressure tips, and this is your soap tip. And you can tell that by looking at it and seeing it's got a much larger orifice than all the other tips. So what you would do is you'd take your gun, and you'd take your high pressure tip out of it, and you put your low pressure tip in, and because the orifice is so large, it's gonna slow down the, the, uh, the pressure, and it's gonna open it up and allow the venturi to start working there. One other style of, of gun here that you may or may not see is, uh, is this one, it's a, what we call a dual lance. And the reason for it is, is you'll have two tips in here. You'll have your high pressure tip and your soap tip. So what that gives you the availability to do is while you're cleaning, just simply twist this handle and it turns over to your soap tip, lowers the pressure and you're able to pull soap. So real simple stuff um, as far as it's working and how it works. Um, one thing about these is that if your pump starts having problems, um, it's not making the pressure you want, it's got a lot of chatter in it. If you have this in there, check that because sometimes you can get a small air leak in here um, and that kind of thing and it's causing your pump not to run correctly uh, or getting the right pressure out of it. You can get some debris in these things. Um, if, you know, if it's not working, you've done all these other things, you've checked them, you've made sure everything's good on your, your, uh, your soap side, you don't have any air leaks um, and that kind of thing. You can actually take these apart, pull this off, unscrew this back, pull this out right here, and uh, your, your spring and your seat will be right here. And sometimes you can suck some trash up in there and it just keeps that open for a little bit. So you'll want to check that too if you don't get it uh, corrected by these other options. These are a, a low pressure Venturi, so there's a lot of friction in there. Um, so they are going to go out in time. You know, so that, once you check all these things, uh, if it's still not working, it's probably time to replace it. So again, guys, we want to answer more of your questions. If y'all have any more, uh, of course, go to our page. You can also go to our website, mgcleanersllc.com. Uh, ask questions. You can also shop our products there. Thanks, guys.